Anterior cruciate ligament surgery is much more commonplace than it was 10 or 15 years ago. Um, however, we're lucky enough to have specialist surgeons here who have a special interest in sports injuries who do a lot of them. It's not easy. Like lots of surgery, the more you do, um, the better you get at it. And we have a large series and do a large number. Um, and therefore, we do have a special interest in it. This is an ACL reconstruction that's been done with a hamstring tendon. Um, and what has happened is that uh, tunnels have been drilled in the knee to make a new ligament. Through the telescope, through the arthroscope, we drill a tunnel in the centre of the knee joint through the thigh bone towards the outside. And over the years, we've become more proficient to putting this in the right position, and we now put this in what's known as the anatomical position. We recreate what was there previously. The way the procedure is carried out is via a keyhole technique or arthroscopically assisted. And we put the camera in, generally speaking, from the outside, we put the instruments in from the inside, and we do what's necessary to the knee to, 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 to sort it out, fix the tall meniscus, treat the, the joint surface damage, and so on. We then clean off the damaged tissue from where the ACL has originally come from by putting small instruments into the, into the knot, cleaning away that tissue, finding that sweet spot, the, the correct uh, place to position the, the socket, and then we make a blind ending socket, so not a complete tunnel in the thigh bone. And you can see a little metal button here. The graft, we take two of the tendons, we double them over so you have four, and they are then put over a loop of very, very strong Kevlar suture that is around a little metal button. A little pilot hole is drilled through here, and we literally pull those up into the, into the tunnel, flip the little button on the top there, and pull it back so it's now nice and strong. And that is it fixed in, in the thigh bone tunnel, in the femoral tunnel. And you can see very clearly four holes, one for the loop of nylon that suspends the graft inside the knee and the other for some toggling sutures so that we can pull the button up, pull it externally out of the, out of the pilot hole in its long axis because it's, it's, uh, the, the pilot hole is wide enough to accept that and then we flip it and it can no longer escape back down that pilot hole but it is caught on the, on the side of the bone. In the shin bone tunnel we've again become more anatomical over the last few years and we now put that exactly where the old ACL used to be. Um, and then having pulled the tendons through the tunnel, pull it back down, tension it so we get the right tension in. And once we got the right tension in, this screw goes into the tunnel. It's what we call an interference screw and literally squashes the graft up against the walls of the bone to stop it slipping. And the screw will hold it initially and then the bone will grow into the, the tendon and heal it in there. You get natural biological healing. So that is, is just the interference screw holding it tight in the tibial tunnel. You can find more information about this procedure in the downloadable ACL surgery booklet in the resources section of the website.